Day three, locked in a motel. It's a miserable, rainy day today. That's not good. That looks like it's gonna turn into snow. How you doing, Weasel? How'd you sleep? You doing good, man? You've been really good while we're here. I've been very impressed. Your behavior has gotten so much better over the years. So as you can tell, I just got out of a hot, hot shower. My face is probably just like a tomato right now. That was great. So I had more coffee delivered to my room from the front desk this morning. I already drank two cups. But in my mind, that only counts as half a cup. It's been the story of this weekend. There's nothing around here. You know, I probably should have picked a motel that was closer to stuff. And you know what's weird? I tried to call a cab yesterday to go into town to get some food and, you know, just to get into town. None of the cab companies in Fredericton answer their phones all day. They just ring, 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 ring nonstop. And then I went to go look at the reviews of the taxi companies. And boy, oh boy, apparently that's a very common thing in Fredericton. The taxi services don't answer their phones. And all of the reviews all the way down there, just like dozens of them say they don't answer their phones. Terrible service. Apparently when they do answer their phones, they're very rude on the phone according to all the reviews. There wasn't hardly any good reviews. But then again, taxi companies usually have bad reviews because <laughs> people only go online to leave a review if they're upset, right? If they have good service, they don't go online and no, they just go about their day. But the, the common reoccurring review on all of the taxi companies in Fredericton is that they don't answer their phones. And I can, and I can say that that's true. I experienced that all day yesterday. I tried to call them. I wanted to ride into town, get some food. Wouldn't pick up their phones. So I ended up walking. Uh, you saw me there in yesterday's video, walking over to the, the Irving and Burger King and grabbing that, which uh, nothing to complain about really. But seriously, you, you own a business. You'd think that you'd want my money. Apparently not in Fredericton. Apparently they got pretty bad cab service and they don't have Uber here either. I'm a big fan of Uber and I don't understand how in a free market society that you can block a business from starting just because it's going to harm your business. You know, taxi cab companies usually try to block Uber from coming in because you know, it's going to harm their bottom line. It's a free market society. It's a free country. If a business comes in and offers the same service as you, but does it better and cheaper, that's your loss. Too bad. The free market has spoken. That's how it's supposed to be. But for some reason across Canada, many jurisdictions, including Winnipeg, I think Vancouver now too, Calgary has been having problems with it and the Maritimes out here, the cab companies have actually blocked a business from freely operating in the region which leaves people like me who really like the Uber service without any ride because they won't pick up their phones now. I don't want to turn this into a big uh, negative uh, whining clip here, but it, it, it does bother me because now I'm worried because it's raining outside and I don't know if I want to walk all the way back to the truck in the rain. I might need to call a cab, but are they going to pick up their phones when I need them? Like, am I going to be stuck at the motel here now? I don't know. I bet you I'm going to end up having to walk in the rain three miles. In the cold rain, too. I mean, it's sort of like half rain, half snow. We'll see. Uh, that's, that's tomorrow. But it is supposed to be raining tomorrow. We'll see. Maybe someone at the dealership, if it's raining like that and I can't get a cab, maybe someone at the dealership will come pick me up. We'll, we'll see. Hey. Hmm. Hmm. Right, Diesel? Heh. Other than that, it's a really nice place to be. Just if you come here, make sure you have your own vehicle. <laughs> yes, would you like something? Is there something you would like? I would like some pets, please. Please. On your ear area, please. Right there? Right there? Is that what you want? You want the pets? Oh, it'll cost you, man. It's gonna cost you. <laughs> You have gotten so much better. He was such a brat when he was younger. But then, the big thing, we got him neutered, okay? And I was very torn on the issue. I waited till he was seven years old, I think, to neuter him because, you know, I'm a dude, I get it. 
I don't want to cut him off, man. Felt bad for the guy. But he was so out of control. He, his energy, his, uh, the way he would act around other dogs, like he wouldn't leave their junk alone. He, if they would let him, he would just continue going, sniffing, and it, it wouldn't stop ever. I couldn't get him to stop. And, uh, you know, he was marking inside of new buildings when we'd go into it and new homes. And <sighs> Britt kind of talked me into it. Uh, and I'm glad she did because the day he got neutered was the day I brought home a completely different dog with a different attitude and he has been so much better, so much better behaved. His obsession with other dogs junk is completely gone for the most part, other than the normal, you know, Hey, what's your name? Let me sniff your butt. But, uh, he doesn't go obsessive over it. His energy levels he was more controllable he would listen better uh and he stopped marking completely so his all of the stereotypical things that it's supposed to improve in dogs it did it it worked wonders with him and so we got chevy our other dog neutered uh after he was two years old because we wanted to wait for a while so that he would fill out properly first we, you don't want to do it too soon or was it after a year we did but uh yeah, that changed him completely and made him so much of a better dog. And, uh, yeah. Some people ask if it did change him. I say absolutely for the better. And not every dog's the same. But if you have a dog that's uh, intact and causing trouble and so hard to control, that could be an option. Talk to your vet about it, though. And uh, they can tell you much better than I can. Okay, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a vet. Talk to your vet about it. It, it did help diesel a lot well boy it's a little rainy out there but we'll give it a shot I need to take you out there we go Sit. Good boy. Our ride's here. Come on. Come on, bud. Can you sit? Can you sit? Perfect boy. So well behaved. It wasn't always this way. <laughs> Here we go. Come on. Still pretty rainy out here. This might turn into snow overnight. It's just like a mist, really. And you can see it around that light there. Camera doesn't really pick it up, does it? It's not too bad. It almost feels like snow. I hope it doesn't turn into snow. I gotta walk back to the truck tomorrow. Hmm. We'll figure it out. We always do. We always do. If it's just misting like this, I don't mind walking in this. This doesn't really get you wet. It's just a little miserable, but. I mean, I'm Manitoban, this is nothing yet. We'll figure it out, we'll get there. Come on, bud. I'm gonna go back inside. Gotta figure out what we're gonna eat for supper. They do have a lounge here that I know is open. I just don't know if uh, they serve food as well. Got the magic card to get inside. Come on, bud. Diesel, come on. Thank you. I'd rather not order in again. It gets expensive when you order in every day. It looked like their lounge was closed today. Maybe because it's Sunday. Might have to order in after all. 
I mean, it's been delicious food. I've been ordering from Boston Pizza to deliver here, but Boston Pizza is not exactly cheap either. We'll see what we can find. Well, in all honesty, there's not really much to talk about today. Tomorrow is the day we've all been waiting for. Tomorrow is the day when my truck is supposed to be ready. I hope it will be by tomorrow afternoon. If not, I guess we're getting a new room. Because <laughs> i got to check out by 11 a.m. tomorrow. It's raining still, so I'm guessing it's probably still going to be raining in the morning. We're going to have to see if we can get a ride over to the dealership. And uh, figure everything out tomorrow. So today wasn't... A very exciting day at all. But tomorrow, I gotta get past New York hopefully tomorrow. Tomorrow is the second and the US election is on the third. I wanna be past New York and far away from that city on the fourth. And on the third in the evening. I should be down probably in like old Virginia area by that time on my way down to Georgia. I'm not too worried about it. I don't think anything too crazy is going to happen. If anything crazy does happen, it'll be in these big cities like either New York, Chicago, or Los Angeles, or Portland, Oregon. Maybe Seattle. You know, some crazy stuff going on there too. But for the most part, the majority of the country will be just fine, regardless of which way it goes. So without getting into that in my video here, I try to keep that out of my actual videos. I have my opinions and my biases. And if you know what they are, then you're in the loop. But I'm not going to comment on that here. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.